Welcome to Jesus God News. I'm Xanadu Santorum. The headlines... Causal link between homosexuality and tornadoes found. Obamacare criticised by a team of doctors. Metaphorometron released by Mega Bible Inc. Scientists at the Centre for Biblical Truth have reported the discovery of a causal link between homosexuals and tornadoes. The 30-man team have studied detailed testimonies of 14 eyewitnesses who claim to have either seen or know someone who has seen the process in action. Head of Clouds, Dr Branston Pickle, said, It's been hard work, but worth it. No one can accuse us of not being rigorous. We had to discount over 3,000 statements from those we suspected of having atheistic prejudices or just plain wrong. But we've now got the evidence we were looking for. Gays cause tornadoes. Fact. The research was funded by the five remaining survivors of the Sunset Strokes Christian Retirement Village, which was destroyed last year in a flash flood. Spokeswoman for the group, 95-year-old Brenda Itch, said, I knew it. They should all be strung up. Mr Williams down the hall from me said he went to an Elton John concert in the 1970s, and now he has blood on his hands. My son is coming soon. Are you Arthur? I used to be a dancer. A team of doctors charged with reviewing the health implications of the universally unpopular Obamacare policy have concluded that the Stalinist initiative is as carcinogenic as smoking 40 uranium cigarettes an hour for 50 years. The dramatic announcement, accompanied by an elaborate funeral dirge, shocked reporters at a news conference held yesterday by the team leader Dr Timothy Anelwart, who said that we gave this travesty, this socialist conversion ideology, a fair hearing, but most of us were able to reach the correct conclusion before we'd even read it. Such was its utter wrongness and un-Americanness. And we are pleased to announce that it's very bad indeed, and anyone who doesn't agree with us is a terrorist. Christ-like presidential candidate Mitt Romney has thanked the team for their hard work and has promised all of them a place in the celestial kingdom with Joseph Smith. The eternal and infallible word of the Almighty is set to enter the 21st century with the announcement of a new electronic device by Megabible Inc. The Metaphorometron uses superfast dial-up technology to access the internet to provide the faithful with the most up-to-date interpretation of the Bible possible. Megabible Inc. head Job Stevens said, Gone are the days when you had to just guess at which parts of the Bible were metaphor and which were to be taken literally. The Metaphorometron searches science journals and morality surveys to keep the holy word of the Lord one step ahead of any attack on its absolute authority. The announcement has been received enthusiastically by consumers who faced an otherwise daunting task after a search last year predicted that by 2019, 97% of the Bible will be listed as either metaphor, allegory or context. The device, which can be attached to most standard Bibles, is expected to be priced at £400. Medical news now, and the General Medical Council met today formally to strike a faith healer from their register for a string of malpractice offences. Dr Simon Testicle of West Buttock had been practising for 30 years without incident, but after a complaint from a patient, an investigation revealed significant flaws in some of the doctor's treatments. Despite protests by supporters who said that the doctor had literally done absolutely nothing, the GMC voted unanimously to eject him from the register. The chairman of the GMC explained the decision to reporters. The evidence was incontrovertible. Dr Testicle had treated numerous patients with the wrong doses, and we have a duty to protect the public from malpractice. Under oath, he admitted to prescribing six times the recommended amount of faith to a cancer patient who subsequently died. The doctor is the second in as many weeks to fall foul of the GMC. Homeopathic practitioner Susan Placebo was struck off last Wednesday after it was revealed that she had overprescribed two molecules of ginseng in water to a child with typhoid, leaving the young patient in intensive care. I'm Xanadu Santorum and please remember to spread the word of the Lord with your friends by sharing this message. It's okay, I'll wait. Okay, now you're up to date.